Hello everyone, in this video, let us create business object layer. For that, I am going to say file, new, project, and I am going to browse AngularJS employee information systems folder. So I have created this folder. I will say select this folder and I will be selecting Visual C Sharp class library. Let me name this class library as employee information system dot business object layer. I want to create directory for solution and solution name. I want to give it as employee information system. That will be my solution name. I'll say okay. Now I'll just look into the solution explorer. You can see that my solution is employee information system and in this I have a project that is EIS.BOL business object layer and this is the class that it has added by default. I'll remove this class. Now I need to add two classes. So I'll just right click and first of all I'll add a class and I'll name it as role.cs and I have the code ready with me in my toolbox. So I have copied and pasted it over here. So this is my role class. So I'll just remove this class and I'll drag and drop the class that is coded here. I have a class role which is partial class. I have role ID, role name and role code. So this is my plain old CLR object and my entity framework is going to create a table equivalent to this in the database. So by default it will create a table with the name plural of this class that is roles it will create a table roles but i don't want that i wanted to create a table with the name role so i can use data annotation now i'll give a table name i'll say table name of the table as role but this attribute that is table attribute is present in an assembly that is nothing but add reference system dot component model dot data annotation so this is what i need i'll say okay now we should find that namespace using system dot component model dot data annotations dot schema now my entity framework will create an equivalent table for this with the name role and role id is primary key i want to make it a primary key so i can simply say key again key is present in the namespace system dot component model dot annotations so one is data annotations another is data annotation dot schema so that's it my role class is ready now i'm going to add another class that is employee employee dot cs again i'll simply remove this class from here i have a class ready with me i'll drag and drop it now if you see there are a lot of things in this class name of the class is employee it is a partial class and i want its table name to be employee again so again i need data annotation dot schema and for key again i need data annotation so employee id is a key again i am using another attribute column i want the type of the column to be where care so employee id i want it to be where care by default it will be n where care so i want it to be a where care and length as 50 so 
it is going to create an equivalent column in the database employee id as type varchar and size 50 and it will make it a primary key because it is a primary key it will not allow any null values the same way i have another attribute email again the column is varchar and size is 50 this time i am using the attribute required which means it will simply not allow null values in this in the same way i have password type varchar 50 it is also required and confirm password now you see that confirm password i need it on the form in the object basically but i don't want a column in the table so i can simply say not mapped that means it will not create a column for this property if you want some property that you want to display in your view or on the form but you don't want it to create a field in the database then simply say not map now first name it is a string so it will take nvar care and max size and it will just say allow null so i have created first name last name gender contact address date time date of joining designation total experience i'll say allow null values question mark means it will allow null values relevant experience allow null values bank name because nullable types so double is nothing but real or float in your sql server database bank name ifsc code account number pan role id now you can see this this is the role id that i'll be getting it from role class so kind of foreign key in my employee table and create a date and we know very well that each employee belongs to a particular role so i'll just say role and i'll say foreign key is this role id so this is how we make primary and foreign key relationship or navigation property you can see if you have learned in your entity framework as we know every employee belongs to a particular role so i have a role object here and the reverse case is here that is every role contains n number of employees so i'll say public virtual i enumerable of employee and i'll name it as employees i'll say get and set that's it my business object layer is ready if you have more objects just keep on designing in this way now let me rebuild this so my business object layer got built successfully for this role table because it is a key it is integer so by default it will take it as auto increment that is identity column it will treat it as identity column. so we are ready with our business object layer in our next video we will see how to create our data access layer using entity framework that's it for this video. Thank you very much.